brought to you by Amstel. Slow brewed, extra matured. Not for persons under the age of 18. Think responsibly. All love, Buffet 2. Welcome to another banging episode of Groove Cartel. You know how we do, Buffet 2. We bring you nothing but the best. And in keeping with the theme of bringing you nothing but the best, we've got my homie here, Mutak Zeni. He's going to play us a dope, 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 dope set. Donna, play to kill. Awe. Oh, 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 
again, Sale, the Borigi, to keep it to no man a bit to a Malin, Obulas, Yasha, the Malisin, Obunga Bolo, which is a couple and toys in the tongue again, boo, ye know, the gang was yo, the loot to Missy Cassi, a Bali to, the Zimbali, yo, and the gang, Sale, the Borigi.
Profeti, you had that dope, dope, dope set by O. Tagzin. Nona. Yo. Welcome to Groove Cartel. Thank you so much. Thank it's you amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing to have you here. Let me uh, adjust your mark, your mark there a little bit, my boy. Shh, Oh, you're right. That's okay. Yeah, but right. you're walking away, boy. <laughs> I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Hey you man, it's the Groove Cartel. Ah, it's the Groove Cartel, guys. Ah, yeah, never. But it's never. back. <laughs> you know, uh, you can't play such a fire set with those cello goods when you're nervous. I'm not too sure. Hey, I'm from Ivory Park. Mang chigang pege move. No, yeah, you might actually. Oh. Um, I, we were at Mela Luxury Game Lodge. So, Zebra, Giraffe. You see, I'm Ama, used to years, thinking yeah. of snooping at I move, not a Giraffe. I'm a What not? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the bush, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, delivery of music for Nakhandwana. Amazing, amazing work. Um, so we're gonna three step. Yeah. yeah. If you were to describe it three step, how would you describe it? Because there's quite a lot of um, association here three step as you being at the forefront of it. So first, as Kalela Pogoti, if you were to describe it, how would you describe the sound? Ooh. No pressure, um, boy. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> I guess the simplest way is um, when we mean three step, we yeah. mean uh, a normal beat will go on in one over four things. So yeah. it's like one, two, three, four, yeah. one, two. So, sure. so when it comes to three step, the normal way I can really explain it to you would be you remove one kick ah, okay. from it and then you have that. But it, it has a lot of, um, it's not just a kick. Yeah. It's also a feeling. It's also the elements that you use. Sure. There's... I feel like for now that's how I can explain okay, it. Okay, no, 100%. Know? Um yeah, there's ele- there's elements it's it's like a bridge. Three step is like a bridge. That's sure, where we sure. all meet. Whether you're a deep house person or whether you're an afro house person, sure. but it has that sound where everything is a bridge for okay. me. It's a bridge. So manje mobile what you we in Jaya corner. Um how do you feel about that from a music making perspective? I mean, it's obviously something that might impact the direction you take. Yeah. Um, a little bit of pressure here and there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of pressure. Sure. Um, yeah, there's a lot of pressure. But for me, it's it's really important for me to remember why I was do- I, I, I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. And it's not to be boxed in. But for me, I'm just a full on producer sure. where it's like... I want to break that whole thing where you support you are meant to coexist in one space. Okay. For me, that hence is why I'm saying three step is a bridge. I'm trying to I'm trying to build that bridge. At the same time, I don't want to lose myself because before three step there was still Tagzin who was doing uh, um, and other music. Sure. So for me, I always explain my sound as a universal sound. So where it's like. I, it doesn't have to be Afro to be good. It doesn't. It, it can be everything. I hear you. That's where I am. But there's definitely a lot of pressure. But you know, we're there. No, you, 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 you really, really, really are doing, um, doing some amazing stuff. You've released some amazing music. Can you then take us through this particular set of Lalila Um Freestyle, pre-planned. What, what, what? In essence, the audience Ekaya, what is the feeling that you would expect um, them to have? I would basically for me this was also part of a statement. You know, <laughs> it doesn't have to be too it's a statement. You know, if if you 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 didn't get three step, maybe listen to the whole set and listen ah, to it. You know, I and understand you what really moves this thing what sure. what it really is sure you know so i didn't really want to dilute it a lot sure okay. where i'm mixing it with mm, a lot of mm, songs mm, mm. but i wanted just the statement of this is the step this is the vibe okay. so if you guys are saying you're vibing with this just no good for a certain period for a number of period we're going to be vibing like this more okay. or less yeah. okay let's take it back i mean uh, you said um you come from a place where i was i was ivory park um, when does this this music bug, when does it bite you? 
like how far how far back does your journey Yo. with music this is before we define um three step this is before yeah. we define afro tech because um there's a there's a genesis of where all of this comes so i'm just very curious what when as we tags in before we get to why you call yourself tag yeah, where, yeah. <laughs> when where where does this where does it start for you Putum? um it's a good time mm. yeah learned to in LA. from your dad yes sure you know uh it's sugar from your time uh Tamela used to be that person who's a musician uh, plays keys plays drums oh lovely you know, okay. so and he used to do that without even us just noticing, just by chilling, by by the keyboard, and then he's like, "Ah, I can't practice," mm. and that thing would annoy us as fuck. You know, it would annoy us because it's like, "I come on, man, hey, I just wanna go play in your dalitis, in your end But now, from the time I was like, "I ah, just," and then it moved from just him teaching us how to play a piano, myself and my sister. It moved from there to uh, now. I want you to DJ for me, Kuma Stockfeld. Really? Yeah. I want you to DJ for me on the stock files. I want you to, when I operate, I would say, operate. Sure, do your thing. Yeah, yeah. So, Nigi City, there's this whole city mm. uh, collection. And then, during the week, he would go over the songs and be like, on this uh, on this city, uh, look out for this song and this song and this song. This is my favorite song. This is people's songs, what, 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 what. And he would do that. Sometimes, I would even mark them. But in most cases, I would really memorize those songs. Because there was a part of me that was really eager to learn even me just being conscious about it sure you know sure, so sure, 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 yeah sure, sure. yeah when when you finally like okay i'm going to do this and it moves from into kenya yeah. to something that you love what is the conversation like now with the, the time around music in terms of how far you've come mm -hmm. um, what is the conversation now yeah yeah now it's like uh because uh, you know Mausa Kala, it's like I try this. I music, it's a side thing, you know. Oh and then, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, no, this is just the side thing. Yeah. But you still need to go look for. Oh a job. yeah, yeah, for, for sure, hundred <laughs> you know? percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, because of the progress and everything that is happening, now I'm able to say, to send him a song and be like, what do you think? And then mm. it's like, yes, did you really do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then for me, that's how. I see and uh, that's how I I get the approval from him. Sometimes he doesn't even have to say it because he's a very hard critic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes it's like, hmm. Aside. I sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I yeah. know, Pagat is oh, like... Oh, deep down. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure, sure. That's... I'm going to go out. No, I actually, I actually, I love, I love this story, you know, because a lot of Amachita that come here and in fact, a lot of the artists rather who come here, there's that... And it's such an amazing, it's such an amazing thing to hear continuously over and over again. Um, when you play your first gig as Tagzin, take me through that particular moment. Because I need to, this is a, music is a lifelong experience for you. Yeah. You know, um, with your dad intentionally guiding you through yeah. the process yeah. so now there's that day obviously when you're out of your dad's shadow and you are yourself that particular moment in time if is there a one party event concert that you played at and you're like as in Imu Tagze, can you take us back to that particular concert if you thought about it mm -hmm. in fact wait where it hits you good as in and like as in i'm doing this thing um it's not for Max. For me, mm. it happens. It, it, I can't remember the re the first time. Yeah, but it's something. Yeah, but it's something that keeps on coming. You know, um, whether because uh, I, I I can ma I can mark people's I can tick people's boxes, but if I can't tick my own boxes, <sighs> then. That's oh, deep in Vanna. Yeah. So now, there's certain things that happen. Small and yana things. Small and yana things. You go to a to an to an area. It doesn't even have to be a gig. You just go to a certain area, and then you just see gents chilling. They're listening to your music. Ah. They don't know this oh. is you. They can even be rude. <laughs> but they don't know. <laughs> no, I get that. You know. I so for that. me, it's those things. It's those things where it's like I'm able to coexist in a space and just see the honest 
yeah. the oh, most response, honest yeah. response that I can music. ever get sure. without me saying, hey, this is my song, what do you think? Mm. You know, so oh. it's those small things okay. for me. It's, it's, it's a series of those small things that I really appreciate that really say, oh, okay, there's something here. That's actually a very, very beautiful feeling. And I think um, it, it, maybe that's also a testament to who you are. Because I mean, the way I've experienced you here just on set, you really are about the music, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, too much. I what what I play, it's what I like. Sure. There's a certain thing that I I like about what sure. I play. So whenever, even when I I, I have my sets, I mean, uh, <laughs> me, I'm having the time of my life. I'm uh, dancing inside. Yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm doing. I'm playing my favorite music. Sure. Oh, and okay. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm engaging in a certain mm. way. That's I can't. Sometimes I can't really express with words. The only way I can really express is with music mm. and through the feeling that mm. it brings to me. Sometimes now I make music and then when I play a song, it too same in. That's when I know Witty, I, I don't work alone. Okay. Because I was about to say, Witty, this is truly a, a, a calling. In fact, uh, the, your, the way you approach, your approach to music. What is your creative process when you make music? You know, where do you operate from? I need to be in a very organic space. I need to not think too much. So usually, yeah, I um, I'm a very closed off person when it comes to studio. You know, I'm a very, it's a very sacred thing. Mm. There's very sacred th- sacred things that that I feel happens without me even seeing them. Sure. You know, so for me to my process is I just need to be comfortable. Okay. I just need to be comfortable in a space, and I'm a. I'm an energy person. I was about to say you hit you, you strike me like a chakra balancing type of person. Yeah, I'm not you know, too yoga, deep. Yoga, you know, like quartz, crystal quartz, and what, 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 what. I'm going there. Yeah, yeah, but nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> You speak like that, and 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 it, this then comes to my next question: with the music making process, when it comes to working with others, mm-hmm. what's what what what's the selection process? for you because obviously people want to work with you but how do you how do you make that decision um you know when when it comes to when it comes to 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 the music how do you make that decision i have to like you as a person first that's a very honest you know i i have to like you as a person first i can like the music but if i'm not vibing if for us to come up with a beautiful project we both need to be need to be aligned that's a very, very honest We need response. to be aligned. Because people can say, yeah, I see, if we can work on a song with this guy, it could work, it could work. But because you guys are not aligned or the, it's not it's not pulling from both sides. Yeah, the timing of Yeah, it needs to pull. For, 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 for best collaborations, it needs to pull from here. Yeah. I need to say, brah, I love your shit. I love oh, what you do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. need to say, hey, I have the same feeling. Okay. So whenever we get into the st- into the studio, we are inspired by each other before sure. anything else. Sure. So that's the drive already. Okay. You know. So for me, yeah, I, I I need to vibe with you as as a human first, as a human being first, than the profession. You've actually arrived at that chakra balancing level. Uh, I can just. Hello, <laughs> 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 What are the What are the next steps, Putwam? <clears throat> Musically. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Projects wise and 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 is there anything in particular that we need to look out for? Yeah, definitely more music coming coming up. Um like I'm saying, I've been trying I, I, this this three step uh, vibe that I have going on. At the same time, I'm going to balance things. Okay. I don't want to just I don't want it to box me. 100%. You know, so there's um there's release that just came out on Tuesday, I don't know when this when this is gonna air. But finally, pray so much. Oh, but yeah, there's there's there's, there's uh, horns which just uh, got released yesterday. Um, there's uh, men in the beds which is coming up on Friday, and then yeah, there's more music coming up, more remixes and an EP also. Sure. And yeah, we 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 working on 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 on, on good music. My last question: um, What inspired the sh- the dance music space that you've chosen to exist in? What inspires that? I mean, look, yes, your dad is there, but the ele- you know how to play live music. Yeah, yeah. 
why here? Oh, um, I guess also part of me, DJ, uh, me being a producer, what actually came first was the DJ. That's very interesting. Yeah, okay. what I made light of is this is what I'm going. I didn't say I want to produce first. Ah, uh, hey, I ah. went from um, I'm, I'm DJing, and then production was something that was in there. It was just there, you, you know. Could do it because you know how to. No, play. I couldn't. Oh, okay. I couldn't. I actually, the, how I learned how to produce was through me watching someone who was teaching someone else mm. how to de- how, how to produce, and then I actually applied the same thing that they taught that person two years later. That was when I was alone saying. Oh, and then that's when I started going. And it clicked, yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. when that thing was happening, I was so annoyed. I, mean, I was, just wanted to play TV game. Who's this guy here now? <laughs> twink, twink, sure, 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 sure. But little did I know that this will make sense later on, of which it made sense. Sure. So my journey when it comes to the music, yes, uh, from birth, from everything that has been happening, it's been the music, my my... I've been, they've been nurturing me. Okay. You know, but yeah, what came first is the DJing. If I were to ask you to make a song with your dad, what do you think the genre would be? (laughs) Yes, yes. Um, Definitely would be a fusion. It definitely would. That's my sister. Right? It definitely hey, would be fusion. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? The other one who was taught the music. Is it Sensi Family Affair? What, hey, what yes. would it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, fusion. Yeah, 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 it would be fusion. Okay. It would be because he's also that person. He didn't only teach me one sound. Oh, you know, okay. He, ah, he was teaching me everything. Ah, so I think ah. if we would ever do that. And there, there were moments earlier on where that would happen, but I wouldn't appreciate it. You okay. Know? Yeah. So as a challenge from Groove Cartel audience, family and whatnot, whatnot, when is the EPA Akone Timer coming out? <laughs> Whoa. Yay. Where's his social media camera? <laughs> nah, yeah, nah. Ish. Time up. Come on. So born. So song. Wonder. But think about it. Yeah, There's no. a social media camera, but Tom, if you can just uh, hook us up with your details. Uh, for bookings and I saw good to this international bookings you know local bookings yeah so hook us up with your social media dog um <laughs> yeah on social media uh, instagram is tags in zero one um you can just follow me there and you get um, updates about my gig guide and then the booking information is also in there so if you would like to book book us you can do it there's a local uh, uh, um, uh, international contact. Uh, contact and then there's also interna- an, an international contact show sure. so you can just um, do that sure. and then let's explore I'll see you on the dance floor <laughs> Our buffet too I'm still Eshmu Pedi. We are Groove Cartel. Check in the next one. We're sighting out. Was yo? That was hectic. But as crossing the we are signing out. Check in the next one. Paris Brune. Away. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the chat, man. Brought to you by Amstel. Slow brewed, extra matured. Not for persons under the age of eighteen. Think responsibly.